Hello aspirants, welcome to Ekam IS Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the interior of the earth. Why it was in use in the recent times is the innermost layer of the earth that is the core that has started reversing in its spinning. So we are going to discuss what happened to the core of the earth. Will there be any significant impact due to this reversal in the spinning which we call it as backtracking and we also learn about the interior of the earth from examination perspective. So without any further delay let's understand. So first thing we need to understand is there is recently a study that has observed that earth's internal core or the inner core is slowing down in its rotational speed at the same time it is also reversing its direction which we call it as backtracking so let us understand what is the interior of the earth so you know earth is a volatile planet earth, earth is a volatile planet and it is composed of three primary layers so you know it is made up of crust you have mantle and core so you know crust is outermost layer of the earth and when you add crust and upper mantle together we call it as lithosphere this is an area where we have the tectonic plates and you know there are different types of tectonic plate movements which will result in different landforms due to convergent divergent and transform boundaries then you also have to know that uppermost part of the mantle is called asthenosphere which is a source of magma the zone of tension which is normally creating the volcanism and all these things so then we also have to understand as you proceed deep into the interior what happens the temperature and pressure increases inside the earth then after the crust we have mantle so this is comparatively denser and then if you go deep into the earth then what happened then we have a innermost layer of the earth that is the core so there is a zone of discontinuity between mantle and core this is what we call it as layman discontinuity this is a person who have identified first time the core of the earth. So for the reason he was also it, the discontinuity where we are observing some differences in the temperature and pressure and density that was also named as Lehman discontinuity. Here we have to understand that core is divided into two parts outer core and inner core outer core is in the liquid stage or molten stage and inner core is in the solid stage now what we have to keep in mind is this particular core okay this is almost like a size of a pluto you know pluto is now regarded as a dwarf planet so the same way here this particular size of a core it always spins one degree more than the earth's natural spinning so earth naturally spins 360 degrees in a day so compared to the earth spinning it almost have in one degree in advance the core so what happens that means you can infer that the core is rotating at a higher speed compared to the earth but now what is observed is the core's speed rotational speed has slowed down and also there is a reversing in the direction of the Core. So, in which direction it is rotating, comparatively there is a reversing in the direction. Now, we need to understand what will be the impact of this particular reversal means. So, it has to be understood that in case if there any reversal happens, that may impact our magnetic field and it may also impact our convective currents, which is the main source from the magma which is deriving its main source at the same time it may also impact the frequency of earthquakes and volcanism and it also may impact our navigation systems so this can be a potential impact of any reversal in the direction of the core then we also have to keep in mind that earth's in interior of the earth you call it as a core right that we also call it as knife layer knife layer because it is mainly composed of iron as well as nickel so that is what you have to keep in mind ni for nickel and fe for iron so this is the most dense, denser part and you have temperatures almost from 7000 to 8000 degree foreign heat this is the temperature that will be there that means if you proceed further temperature and pressure increases over a period of time this is what you have to keep in mind whereas the crust is mainly made up of basalt and granite so these are the basic things then how you draw an inference about the interior of the earth means you very well know there will be two sources of the interior of the earth one is direct sources and another is indirect sources so far you know as direct sources are very difficult to derive with respect to anything interior of the earth so it, we are mainly relying on the data related to mining and whatever the things which we get from volcanic eruptions that we primarily consider as the direct sources but all other sources like earthquakes or even the magnetic field gravitational pull or all the other things we consider as the indirect sources which is also giving some information like meteoroids and all these things also gives us some information of the earth its interior but in an indirect way this is what you have to keep in mind then let's see the practice question given yesterday so consider the following statements regarding indian one-horned rhino one-horned rhinoceros is primarily found in 
terai grasslands and forests of Assam. This is correct. And it is listed as vulnerable in IUC in red list, correct. Kaziranga is known for having the largest population of one horned rhino. This is also correct. Population wise, it is having highest and density is in Pobijoro as I told you. Now, let us see the practice question for the day. How does the density of the earth's core compare to the density of the earth's crust? So, among the given options, choose the correct one and let me know the answer in the comment section. Then, as we have reached the end of the video, today we have discussed what happened to the earth's core, why its rotational speed have decreased over a period of time and exact reason for this was not known. But they, it was observed that naturally it happens over a period of time for 170 years or something. So they consider that it is a natural phenomenon and it may have some significant impact on the magnetic field as well as solar radiation capacity of the earth. So these are the things which we infer and there is no clear cut theory or any particular methodology which has given this is exact reason for the slowing down of the rotational speed of the core and the reverse in the direction right so we also have discussed about the interior of the earth what are the sources along with interior layers of the earth set earth also like crust mantle and core and other things from the examination perspective so this is all with respect to this video thank you for joining us all the very best